Navi's yeah. favor. Now I'm probably going as high as 75, 25. Right. It's going to be quite the clawback necessary here. And well, one expert, don't believe. Simple throwing utility for his team. I believe so. We're Unarmored. into the top side. Perfecto. Ooh, excuse me, Electronics, the one to go down. The one way's been uh. dropped. And the entire Navi squad have been dropped. In fact, oh. it's as easy as that. Perfecto is a bit of a clutch master. He's already had one 1v4 on him. No, Luke. no, no. I'm afraid this one might be too tall of an order. Too many men Ooh. takes another with him. Look at their <laughs> HP chat. There's a universe, an alternate reality, where one of the simulated versions of Perfecto wins that. Yeah, and in that one, I think I probably wear glasses. Yeah. You're about three foot tall. Yeah, I wear exclusively khaki. Ah, okay. Yeah. Don't know where that's come no, from. No, I don't know either. No. But uh, it's, it's some people, they, they like particular yeah. colors. Uh, maybe I've shaved my head as well. Shaved your head? I've never shaved my head. Have you thought about it? Not even once. Okay. I just have such a giant head. I was wearing an XL helmet when I was 11. They <sighs> had to go into the back room when we were getting the school trip out. For where a skiing helmet. Oh, a skiing helmet. Skiing okay. helmet, okay. Yeah. I don't know if it was like... No, I was a pretentious middle-class school, you, you know. You were racing around in like school Formula E cars the mountains. Ah, ah, okay, okay. Well, Navi's pistol has fallen quite flat and into the buy they go. So we're not seeing a full investment. This is quite the conservative approach here from Navi. Just some light upgrades. Watch him win it, though. I mean, do you know what really uh, kind of bewitched me is the way in which Navi were doing their wall yesterday? Uh, that wall of... Ah, 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 ah. Now, that's the technical way to describe what happened, but I guess suppose I'll do it the fun way, which is... Simple has ruined Rain's day again. Uh, he's thought he was in a safe angle. A single scout has opened up the round. And now a man disadvantaged that I can't help but feel still has some twists and turns ahead of us. Olof has a distinct advantage over the smoke. And there is a bit of a hunt. Oh, Carrigan's oh, done Harrigan very Harrigan well with that. that. Very well from Carrigan. OK, problem over. What a risk from Carrigan there. Problem just to solved. go for that maneuver. He just put himself out there right on the end of the... Oh, the plank, and Jeez. wow, he's walking this one with style. Carrigan's gotten four kills in this round. Just one more for him to find right here, and may as well send him out for it. See if he can take the big man out himself. Flashed off. He's out of there. He's going around the world. Carrigan doesn't want to borrow this. Okay, just don't want to die, so an in-game leader's brain. Simple's trying to tear them apart, running out of time, and well, considering how that one started, not going to be too happy with how it finished. Oh. They're not going to get the org. And while we're talking about orgs, if you uh, if you you have an org, Mr. Machine Richardson is in the market for an org. I am. I decided I'm going to do the the just Harry GG uh, strategy. Okay. You know, he practiced for two weeks. He put himself in the little uh, magic in the lab. chamber in the lab with the burst fire famas. I'm going to do the same in my uh, Counter Strike adventures with the org. I okay. think it, like for someone that's as mechanically challenged as I am, you know. <laughs> yeah. Uh, I, my head, wouldn't it? I've got no reason not to. Like, okay. why would I not use the it's weapon a good gun. that would suit me better? Sure. All right, well, if you have an org that you think's pretty stylish, uh, tag Alex and, and let him know he's in the market now. I am. Rain, however, has got so many men around this red container. He'll do very well to get more than one. Now, Electronic was around and just elevated on the box. He gets to bide his time and collect. Ramp is open for business. Bit stretching his legs, calling it clear. And now they haven't even committed with the bomb chat. They've got so much space. Yard is still held. Ramp held. Like, what do the CTs even have? I guess Carrigan has a very good idea where Electronic currently resides. That sound cue will be noted. So I'm not going to press the issue. Now, Carrigan will be in charge of that lower site, which is going to leave the likes of Twists and Brokey up towards A. Simple still needs to grab this bomb, and we have roughly 50 seconds still remaining on the clock. The low HP of Electronic and Simple could be a problem if they do line up. Oh, and they're a actually commitment. fortifying this top site here. So, uh, ideally, if you're Navi right now, ramp to lower would be the play. You still have a smoke for the single door. You have a molly that you could dip in through the windows there to help negate the double door swing. But in reality, looks like Simple's selling the top play and they are heading towards ramp. So action on Carrigan here. Electronic could spoil this. Yeah, go for an angle and Carrigan's done very well there. What a start he's having. And more. Contending with Bit. Bullets through the door, keeping busy. But now the bomb's time. loose. Chad. They need to get on this Disaster now. Disaster has struck. Oh, there's no time. There's no time, I don't think at this all. This is done. No, well, it certainly is now. And they lose everything as well. What a recovery out of phase. Okay. 
That's huh? exactly what the doctor ordered. I thought as they descended lower, it should have been all said and done. Carrigan manages to slow him down further. Yeah, it's electronic there, right? If he kills Carrigan, then the other two, they can't get out the vents. They can't get in positions to help contest that lower plant. But the fact that Carrigan kills electronic, that keeps the round alive for face. So huge stuff here from the in-game leader. Massive kill, great awareness. Sets Brokey up, the Wombo combo. And away we go. So phase 3-0 to the good. And now they're going around looking even better. Three M4s and AK and AWP. RV smoke walls bloom. I swear I had so many extinguishes there. At least another one. Four. Yeah. I guess we... Uh, oh. Okay, Electronic trying to get a little bit cheeky around the front of the smoke. We'll go down. Two do make it towards Secret. That's Boomage and Simple. And, and while we have a bit of a moment here, just some of the things we saw at Anavi yesterday on their nuke was the persistence in mollying top hut and smoking in front of the squeaky door slash vent to do vent drops and getting down Secret. They had two avenues of getting lower very quickly. Oh, this one's over very quickly here. So just stalling Navi out. Ready and raring our phase. Boomage and Bit remain. Bibbit just found a bit of a gap here, so this could be a knife kill. You know, you wouldn't mind it. Uh, yeah, the economy is going to be frothing that one right there. Bibbit just got one done silently. And with that Orpa being flanked, I think there's a good shot. Bit does some damage. Tries to stabilize the his cross gun, does it? It's, it's not the gun for him. Get in the deagle. Cheeky business by Bibbit. So, knife kill, plant, plenty of cash. Plenty of money for Na'Vi here, guys. We we're about to get the loss bonus coming on through anyway, so you know how juicy that buy is going to look. Pretty much has 8K after all of that going on down. So if they want to get the AWP out on Simple, they can. They're not. And this here, it's just too tantalizing. Like You don't get many, op you don't get many opportunities like this. So when you get them, you got to take them. Oh. Just a little touch of the movement keys, I think, on the first one there. Can tell he's in phase, does the 360. <laughs> But it's the bloody Tech 9 bit. You know it is, mate. You know it in your heart of hearts. What, what uh, Org skins Kerrigan rocking while I continue my shopping? He's rocking himself a lovely one of Reigns, actually. It's ah. been dropped for him. Now, one topped off of the hut. You talked about that. And then it might just be a quick top pop. You see lots more util thrown down. He throws bullets towards the door, and the sight is Narvi's. That's as easy as that. The smoked off. Rain on Mini with nothing to say or do. Let's see the reaction. It's re-smoked, so Rain's been kept very honest. The second he starts to spray, it's wise to their tricks. They do return fire. Oh, Simple's flank here might get caught by Olaf over towards Ramp. Oh, Simple too quick. That would have taken a bit of pressure off FaZe and maybe allowed them to go for that retake there, but now it's about the saving game. And Brokey's cornered. Oh, he wasn't expecting it. They took him by surprise, doesn't pull the trigger. Had his hand off the mouse. Yeah. So a dodgy smoke as well. They might continue to disrespect that. They'd love taking the AWP out of this. And they will give it all she's got. Oh, damn. An electronic peak. AWP lost. Rain recovers his M4. He won't be able to touch that AWP. Twist. Holding on to his in the warehouse. They are looking for him. A couple of seconds. Ooh. Yeah, holds on. Okay. Okay, so FaZe return with a couple of saved rifles. Olaf could definitely use one of those. And an update on that Fnatic game, taking on EG. EG are out, Fnatic controlling some degree of their destiny. They're looking for a phase failure as well. Yeah, right now, out of all the scenarios that, that we were offered up with today, uh, currently, as per the email spreadsheet, thanks to Mihal Slavinsky, we are going into scenario seven, and we'll talk about that when we get an eco. We won't, we won't uh, merge that in with the gun round, so let's check out how this round goes. Aggressive util towards Yard here to stall out Na'Vi, and, well, Rain, he's at such he a tall task, it. doesn't he? It's always interesting to see how people react to those smoke walls, how you want to worm your way around them and get info at the very least. This is different. Electronic is not playing behind the smoke wall. He's actually playing late silo. So FaZe will have to address the fact that they could have slipped lower. This is on a timer. You can see how passively he's set up here. Another smoke towards Squeaky. Rain will be the man tasked to go down and see if anybody's been able to make it down secret. And they're just setting up for another one of these top hits here. Same util out of simple. This molly lands back of the bomb box. Lots of flashes to come on in through. And I want to watch that boomage POV. You know he's going to be ahead of the pack. You know he's going to be the blunt instrument used to bludgeon the CTs. And down goes Brokey. 
Boomich delivers, but it's looking good in the feed. Twist has made it competitive after all. Contends on the site. Rain. Oh, a huge opportunity. He's actually put the bomb down. He's taken down simple, no less, and it leaves it all onto electronic. Shouldn't be anything left for him here. Now with the bomb loose and under CT control, contact taken, and teamwork to whittle away at that last member. A bit jarring there for Electronic, right? They didn't give him the respect. They just took the fights. So he was hoping by his presence alone, yeah, the bomb guy, the bomb box guy's not going to pick me. He's not going to. I'm going to get another fight here, and then just happy to keep on picking, taking that fight. But great by twists. He puts a stop to this with the double, right? If it goes one for one, Navi break on in. They get that bomb down. But Twist has set them up here, and Rain's been able to convert. A big kill onto Simple. This one could have gotten out of control. Money's still there for Na'Vi in the buy, so here we go again. What's the look going to look like here? Over Silo fast. Rain has just looked away. Could find Boomich if he turns his attention back oh. and tapping away. What a fight that is. Uh, that's a big one to take and to commit to as well. I mean, the chances of him having another teammate with him ready to return fight. Rain's sticking around. Yep. He's thrown his own smoke grenade into the wall, into the mix, and now Na'Vi, they're going to be aware that that's a possibility. Trying to find just a little gap, and there is a victim there. Simple two wise, four on four, game on. They are across. Rain will have communicated there is a gap. What's the reaction out of phase? Oh, freebie right now. Bit's down. Great push from Carrigan here. Oh, Na'Vi usually can count on Bit for that lobby hold. Now, with him gone, there should be an advantage for phase to exploit. Damn. Perfect read. Simple's dealt with another. Prevent rotate cut down to size. Carrigan gone. Boomwich with the bomb. And it should be up to Olaf to stop this. Oh, it's a fake. Oh, Olaf's going to call this. If they want to go topside, he'll know. Uh, the thing is, if they go for the vent rotation... Oh, I don't like it when the orbs are closed. He's just lost Olaf in the process as well. That powerful door swing and cut noise has led to Olaf's push. If they go up the vent, I think Twist is in a position here to lock this one down. You can see here in Squeak, he can just ruin his day. If they go all the way back up through Secret, they still have to cross this line of sight. So it's up to Simple and... Oh, 20 Twist. seconds, bro. He's just going to be tucking away here. The team is coming. They have a smoke for Squeaky. That would be perfect. There it goes. It's about to bloom. Twist has locked on out. He reveals his location, tagging up Boomich in the process, but Brokey unable to really voice any concern. They'll get the bomb down with just five seconds to spare. And Brokey detached from the pack. Twist heading towards spawn. You know what that means. Save call is in. So I, I guess we can use this opportunity right now to talk through the outcomes of today. And as I said, scenario seven. Now, scenario seven, just for everybody playing at home who doesn't have the email in front of them like I do, uh, would have Fnatic beating EG, Mao's beating Big, and Na'Vi beating FaZe. And, and the reason we go with scenario seven is that's currently what we're on course for, right? If we're a comet hurtling through space, our destination right now are those three outcomes. Now, in the case of, of those three outcomes, Na'Vi would finish the group in first, Mouse Sports would finish the group in second, and Fnatic would then finish the group in third. That would leave FaZe just shy in fourth place, Big in fifth, and EG, well, they're Ooh, gonna come sixth. Th Sorry, please finish. Yeah, no, you're right. It sounded like you were wrapping up. I just got excited, I got distracted, because someone has sent me the a pretty good pitch. Vito has offered me the... Uh, Aki Habara. Okay. It's the anime one. Ah, yes. To, to match yes. the profile picture that we, you know, the, the buff sure. I'm going to get from the anime profile pic. I just don't know who I'm going to go for yet. Well, I, uh, Simple has Levi from um, ah, Attack Captain on Levi? Titan. Yes. Ah, okay. I had um, Little Alphonse. Uh, okay. Baby Alphonse yep. from Full Metal Alchemist. Brokey's in trouble and he's down to half health. He's lost full control. There's a wall of smokes with Electronic doing his thing, but. Navi want to go on this. Look at him. Again, Boomich, the wild man, does just throw his body on the line. It hasn't gone well this time. Carrigan with a Mag 7 up against an AK. He's trying to be threatening. Oh, and it works. Faded him in. Perfectly, yeah. Twist has got another. Face, if they can deter Navi's top take, oh, they have. Man. He might even be behind him. <gasps> Ooh, careful now. Don't feed the beast. Bit is still alive. And Rain's in a prime position. Oh, this is a hard to clear spot. Yeah, but Bits, new gen, that's actually the first spot he's, he's going to clear. clearing yeah. the hard angle. Yeah, yep. the hard one, the the impossible to predict one. Okay, well, if he predicts Olaf here already slipped in towards this lower site, he might just be a whole different gen. Because a two on five, so not aware. easy for anybody. Yeah, just constantly alert to all of the possibilities. Now, Simple's going on a bit of a simple project. Yeah, I, I don't think he wants to play anywhere near Bit. Mm, hey, like, no. you do your thing, I'll do mine. Actually, they're kind of doing a full clear on the Z-axis. Like, they're working on, okay. uh, along the same line, just very different parts of the map. 
I see what you've done there. Well, Bit can't really overstep the mark. Now, the thing is, for Simple to go heaven to top, Bit has to make some noise exactly like that. So selling a bit of a, s a fake here, but Simple going to get in. That was his first shot, and he's got the bomb on his back. And, oh, Bit trying to distract. He's done. He's put his whole life on the line <laughs> to distract, but Carrigan is actually Simple's first victim. He needs to plan. Ah, Brokey's got it. Brokey's got it. He says with conviction. <laughs> Bro Brogy, he's got, he's got it, he's, he's got, got it, Brogy's it. got it, yep, 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 got okay. Got it, there it is. Six to two, this really now is starting to look great for FaZe, right? They opted to get rid of Mirage from the map pool, and they've allowed Nuke to stay in, which is a map that Na'Vi have been looking fantastic. I one. Uh, love me a little Tech 9 round, especially when there's a bit of uh, juice in the tank, if they go for something a bit quick. It doesn't look like they're going to let that happen, though. Instead, FaZe are going to dump their util. A full wall of smokes deployed by Na'Vi, so FaZe definitely left a little guessing. Rain's done a great job of dealing with this, though, and, and just look at the confidence of him to peel through the smoke oh. like that. Imagine what could have been on the other side. Yeah, I suppose. Maybe absence of sound cues and... Oh, a perfectly timed push. That was Boomich as he tried to sell something. I would say so far, if we're just going a head-to-head -head Rain versus Electronic, and now it's obviously not exactly kills, yeah. right? But in terms of who's been controlling the territory and making life more difficult, I would say Rain has made their life more difficult holding this yard position than Electronic has made phases. Yeah, and I don't think anyone in the chat would be particularly interested in that role. Like, hey, do you mind, could you want a solo yard against Na'Vi? Yeah, just kind of play around their smoke Don't timings. die, obviously. Simple might be there with an orb. Electronic's going to be there most of the time. Yeah. Uh, Boomage likes to jump on silo sometimes too, so yeah. you ready for all that? Yeah, yeah. all right. Simple might have an AWP. You have an M4. And you've had a smoke thrown your way, actively contesting for that fight. He's not letting Simple get away with any extra space here. And in fact, he's peeked into him again. So yeah, not only Boomage, but a second victim to that raid rifle, and oh, he may as well collect them all here as Perfecto's made things a little more costly. It's a pair of frags for twists and seven for fades. If they can continue this run, as Chad has outlined, we could be talking about a third. Uh, again, okay, here's the, the uh, update of Big versus Mouse. This is the other game that has a lot of ramifications here. Mouse Sports win, they can qualify straight on through. Uh, big win results do need to go their way, but uh, right, they, they need to win. Just yeah. if, you, if you're a big fan, just remember they need and to win. I'd hazard a guess as well. If, if they stay true to form, that Dust2 should be a very good shot of them taking us to three. Bit big and their Dust2 has definitely looked like one of the, the real crown jewels of the German squad. Pull the trigger. You know you oh, want to. Oh, the timing for Brokey has just got him unraveled in a couple of these scenarios, hasn't it? It really has. Little hard done by there. Electronics slipped the net. Oh, has he? But this time, Electronic wins out his head-to-head. -head. This is more what we saw against EG. Secret Control and the Vent Dive at the same time. And they've been able to get at least the early kill here. Oh, Boomich. Yeah. Like, Carrigan's got to be so careful because he wants info, right? But he doesn't want to fall foul to a late Boomich on that roof. So anything towards secrets being held currently, which enables Electronic a bit to only really worry about what's in front of them. Yeah, the thing is, they have to be able to group up with the team here. So the actual gap right now, which seems odd, is if Na'Vi went squeaky, dropped another smoke at their feet and all dropped down the vent to go B. Because it's top util to sell it. Yeah, that might help here. With two guys already towards the lower side, it feels like you're committed to that. Oh, and Carrigan's <sighs> having a little bit of a look here. Good timing, yeah. No one's no, no longer babysitting that. Oh, they've actually left the vent rotation. Oh, and they're going to drop down the vent. Oh, maybe not anymore. Carrigan's revealed himself in that lower side bit. Gone. Down the vent anyway. Well, they and he knew gets he was another. There, guys. They knew exactly where he was. He has another down the vents. Stubborn, perhaps. Oh, and he's taken them all down. Carrigan completely destabilizes Na'Vi. Is there more to be played? Simple to extend play by bending that bomb down. Carrigan delivering phase an opportunity with three frags and simple and perfecto to clutch it up for his squad. A crucial round, twists in the vents. 
Simple catching needs. Allow a twist, though, and a flank coming in. Pretty promising. Simple connects, and he connects twice. Na'Vi back on the board, courtesy of the clutch. 2v3 turned around. They almost let that one get out of control, right? Yeah. And you can understand why they would turn their attention away from the vent when the player's in the top side from Squeak. You can see nobody can drop down. But Carrigan, by moving into that warehouse position, was able to find the perfect gap. Right here, position in warehouse, was also able to catch Electronic and maybe bit if they were going to walk back up and go for a top split. Team when they fight. didn't walk back up, mm. he was just able to get behind them. So that was huge. It didn't pay off. <laughs> Na'Vi with a miracle. They get past it. And look what that has done. That was such an important round. Look yeah. at FaZe's money. Yeah, the gap's just going to close like that, isn't it? Just slam shut. They hunt for Raid. And again, in the head-to-head, -head, Electronic closing that gap as well. Call it four. Oh dear, I ju it's just. Oh, it's not his gun. It's I. It. Let's give him a P250 or a Deagle. Let's not go for that weird 500 he middle ground. Why does he keep buying it? Oh, oh, oh. Okay. That doesn't mean anything, does it? I no, mean, it means a lot. That's two AK-47s, and the bomb is down just outside a lobby here. So if they continue up onto the roof, this round is going to get real. Okay. Well, hold up, it's a Tech-9, not 2 AK-47. But yeah, a Deagle, though, he can throw his Deagle across. So now Twist is as potent as Olaf's Deagle was. And they basically just maintain lobby, which will force Na'Vi's hand. They'll have to go yard. 54, Electronics down secret, but not much more. So nobody from FaZe is close to respond to this. Carrigan loses vision, but gets the sound cues. They still have the number advantage here. You, you wouldn't mind them going for this. Oh, Brokey, that's quick. He's just got there in time. Oh, it could, it could be a bit hectic. He's oh, going to be hard broke. cleared, hard cleared by Simple and a good bullet, but not quite into the head. So Boomage can get that bomb down. Simple looking to save Na'Vi here and then quite the recovery. A good push and a headshot into Olaf leaves it all onto Kerrigan and it's 8 HP in a dream. Okay. Well, you can't say they haven't had chances. No, certainly not. With the, how, the way like the way that one started and the way the last one started as well, FaZe have definitely had chances here to have a very, very convincing CT side. Now, it's not over yet. Only four rounds to Na'Vi's name. If there's an adjustment from FaZe here immediately and they can bounce back into this, then they still have a really good half. If they lose from this point onwards, it's going to really spiral out of control and that 7-2 to two scoreline is probably going to be looking a mo lot more like 7-6. to six. Yeah. I mean, I'm intrigued to see whether or not they do continue to mix it up or whether Na'Vi are going to go back to what's been so comfortable for them. A missing gap smoke. There it is. Yeah, lots of... So, oh, oh. Okay, Boomich. They've taken more of an active stance towards Yard now. So Boomich is like the protector in case any of that funny business comes in. Electronic gets down and here's Carrigan again. This is going to have to be some genius level stuff. Oh, hard angles to fight. Yeah, he's not going to stick around for that. Boomage did drop off as well. Why does it feel like Na'Vi are just getting away with this every time? They know how to just constantly break through this CT established hold. They get that low sight, whether it's through that fence or secret walk. And There's then they no just get to play off. with you. Look at the nays left for face. Just one flash on Olaf and we have a minute remaining. They have to defend with bullets alone here. This is all just going to come down to their positioning. They can't lock off positions with the smokes. They can't throw the mollies. They have nothing to assist for the retake. Carrigan does have a kit, so if we're looking for positives, that's one. Right, you've heard three flashes, Ram. Molly now towards hell. You're going to be familiar and at least a little in tune with what's going on. Electronic directly underneath Olaf here. Oh, loud, loud, Olaf! What is that clear from Electronic? Jumping, no less. Carrigan's got him straight back, so there's some vengeance. But the bomb's coming in. Twist will hear this. It's going to get difficult for now. I don't know how they get the bomb down. This could get really difficult. Hard fight. Need Twist to be voicing something, only the one. <laughs> they just that perfecto. Look, get the bomb down. Uh, we're going to trade you, mate. We promise. It, moments where it's looking sticky. Yeah, they get very close, don't they? But uh, this is starting to look like Na'Vi are going to be at least resuscitated. So what are we talking here? 2,400 in the next round of play. So it is just going to be this AWP of Brokey with some light upgrades around that. Yeah, three in a row was seven to two. Find ourselves now shaping up nicely. Seven to five. Na'Vi going to be very happy with their haul if they can break through one more. There is a saved orb. Phases downward trajectory there, looking a bit like the recession of 2008.
for those of you who weren't around back then, the CGS had existed, and then it did. the world, the world just kind of slowed on down. And then I woke up one day, there was a web page. What did it say? It said the CGS is no longer around, which meant I no longer had a job. So you just kind of found out? By email. No, what? not even email, just by a website. A website. To everybody. Spread love. It's about time for a Brokey pop-off. Unfortunately, the entire Na'Vi squad is going the opposite direction. There's his orb. He went for the ramp solo hold, and Na'Vi don't seem to be too concerned. They'll throw one smoke and get up to red, and then discuss how they want to progress. Oh, electronic, you wouldn't. Yeah. Twist. And Twist, playing anti-flash, has put himself in a prime position to punish. Good headshot. AK recovered. AK and an orb. Couple, this, couple this, of the same pistols. conversation we've been, doing. We've been having for a while. Pistols. We um and are at the potential here for FaZe Clan to destabilize. Oh, and it's getting even worse for Na'Vi. He's had time to recover that as well. Bit pokes at the top site. Twist, it's recovered. AK's in play. Brokey's got a great timing on this ramp push. He'd have to play it to perfection, though. Chooses to stick around. Wallbanks into the vent. Olof's reacted nicely, and Na'Vi are losing to these single pistols. Good wallbang out of Perfecto. He knows there's another. Can isolate this into a 1v2. And it should. Oh, missed shot. Should be oh, done. He's shot. not doing it again, is he? Perfecto with another low HP clutch. Playing with them. Brokey, the trajectory of the incendiary could be a little bit of a read for Perfecto. 30 seconds. He's not in a hurry. Again, a bit of a mismanaged one. They lost him for a second. Bomb's still there. This is hard for Perfecto. Oh! Oh! Careful now, Brokey. Advantage surely with him. The bomb in front of his nose. One bullet's all he needs. Perfecto. Oh, he it done it! He does it again! Perfecto! <laughs> consistently a thought in the side of anyone that wants to close out. Oh! Similar circumstances. This partial kind of investment, a couple of guns in the mix. Perfecto left with it all to do. He knows where Twist is, locked into the vent. The miss of Brokey here as he comes through Hut. Oh, he's not letting that one go. How is he not choking when he's got 20 seconds left? And the, he has to jump into his opponent. I mean, well handled. Incredible stuff out of Perfecto. And yeah, FaZe are going to feel like they've just been robbed. Daylight robbery. He even gave them his ID card. He was like, sure. hey, just remember my name. <laughs> remember my bloody name. That's a calling card for Perfecto now. It is fast becoming. We've got some of the best clutching out of Perfecto, some of the best headshot percentage out of bit. Na'Vi building their brand with every big W. Okay, well, seven to two now feels like a lifetime ago. Seven to six, the scoreline stands and more punishment coming their way. Carrigan locked and loaded for a few here. Spammed and a double. Oops. Look at the line out there. Yeah, hello folks. Today, we're gonna to be talking about spacing. Uh, that one was unfortunately a perfect little offie from Carrigan. And Bit's been sussed out as well, so it's only another Perfecto 1v4. Yeah, but there's guns this time. He uh, he's yeah, only yeah, against yeah. the Eco, he does uh, it. Yeah, only yeah, against yeah. the Lobi. So nothing to be concerned about here. In and he's on full HP, so th this one he, he doesn't do these. Oh. Oh. Seven had, HP or less. Had only. Rain got him D dinked him. Dinked him. Yeah, and then... We could have been on. Yeah, he would have tried. Uh. But Perfecto doesn't try if he has full HP. Uh-huh. I understand. Yeah. Well, that's... Uh, wow, it feels weird to see FaZe's number change. It's been a while since that seven's been there. Four, mind you. So oh, exciting. Uh, yeah, so uh, now the 9-6 on the nose and the half would be great. They will have the better buy for the final round of play here. Bit back into that pesky Tech 9. All right, I'm 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 swapping him over to the... What, what's the alternative? The CZ? No, we can't okay. that. Yeah, the CZ. I don't know if he'd be better or worse with no, that. No, actually, but... you know what? I've changed my mind. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how fancy bit on the Just CZ. get rid of that. Just That slot doesn't exist. Oh, now that is a lovely collection from Brokey, and it does seem like FaZe, motivated by their recovery, have opened up nicely here. Wouldn't mind that rifle, would you, Electronic? Wouldn't mind it at all. He will get it. He needs to allow Simple some time to work here. Oh. Oh, it's hanging in a balance here. Isn't it, though? Twist in a prime position. They are looking to nutmeg. A double nutmeg from Na'Vi, and he's kept honest. Does find the first. Simple. A premium oh. opportunity again. Carrigan outguns him. 
17. He is the leading by example on Nuke. Perfecto handed another rather ambitious clutch. I think he's got a bit of a timing here. I don't think Olaf's aware or caught a glimpse of him. He might catch it now. Perfecto manages it well. First of the clutch. Kaga slow. Has he really got another one in him? 13 bullets, hasn't opted to reload. Molotov's out of position now, and he'll have to respect it. He's thinking it through. Could have about 15 here when that fades. Running very light on time. The single flash to find that first frag. And he, oh, he's baited the shot out of the AWP. That's dreamy. Uses it to take space. Oh, super uncomfortable. pre is great. They both get tagged up. Nine Beats HP. He's a threat. Four bullets. He has to plant now. They can't close the gap in time. They're charging him. Four bullets. And he's already, oh, forced to reload. Oh, if only, no. If only he swapped. Forced to reload in front of their face. He even brought Brokey down. Really does soften the blow of a real strong slew out of Na'Vi. They managed to post six on their attack. Let's see if FaZe's T side holds water. Oh, Kerrigan's lobbed out of smoke there. I think it's going to go towards the windows. 1x bet odds are still favoring the CIS super squad, but FaZe have clawed back some respect here. And oh, oh. It's not bad. One for one. Yard control. Heaven being pressured here. Yeah, and they're using that smoke. Rain's already raced the smoke there, and he's... Pushing into the very powerful position. It looks like he's gone unchecked. Boomich is considering it, but he's already through to ramp. He's using that low HP as a bit of a scout. He is the probe. Where are they going to end up here, though? So, Rain's cleared out a lot of space. Unfortunately, if he keeps going, <sighs> he finds nothing, and, and then he's back where he started. So, yeah. <laughs> it's been quite the adventure, Rain, but they, they didn't push. They didn't take the lobby space off your yard maneuver, and... After all of that, they're back where they started. Now he's taking ramp again. Yeah, around the world in 60 seconds for rain. And now they're pushing into lobby. So, oh, couldn't have gotten more unlucky here regarding the timing. The bomb is going down towards secret. So we, we'll see action on bit here. Oh, Carrigan gets a rude awakening. And yeah, oh dear, as easy as that, rain is dead. They're looking for him, bit. Trifling with two and struggling to put the bullets in the right place. Does mean that Twist will be getting the bomb down. An audible from Boomich's vent descent. Oh, he's getting flanked here, Boomich. Yeah, it should be set. If he keeps playing with the door, Olaf's got him booked. Just survive, Twist. Survive. Oh, never mind, oh, Boomich. Oh, lordy. Ready for anything, I guess. Just on the, spe just on the, the speculative jiggle. Like, what, what's the spidey senses tingling there, Boomich? Could be one. I get bang. Doesn't let me, finish the let me just check, shall I? Let me just have a look. Kapow. Blammo. Kablammo. So, uh, Batman, guys, back in, what would it have been? The 70s? Yeah, what, you, we're talking retro, yeah. Yeah. I, do you know, I, I've always seen the posters and, like, little clips of the, you know, the original Batman that looks just really like men in costumes? Yeah. Like Kapow. People in, yeah, like, yeah, Halloween yeah, yeah. costumes. I, I've been meaning to watch that one. Yeah. Just because it looks very kind of, like, camp and uh, flamboyant. We had, you know, they, when they would do the climbing of the wall scenes, it would be them just, like, on the ground, just, like, with <laughs> exactly. the, the painted, like, a wall. It does look like it, yeah. It should have a cult following if it doesn't already. I, ju I forget what channel it was on. We had a channel on Aussie TV that had uh, all that stuff on it. it was <laughs> That like HR puff and stuff and all that, all that old, old jazz. Oh, but, yeah. Well, you, look, this is only the Deagle did upgrade. Did you have Banana Man? Is that did have Banana Man? You did. Yeah. Yeah, I was a big Banana Man fan. Was there was the bad guy was Apple Man, right? <laughs> no, he wasn't. It wasn't. It was it really. So Apple, Apple Man was Apple the bad Man? guy. He j just felt like Apple Man was the bad guy. Yeah. What Steve Wozniak and Steve Jobs cackling away <laughs> maniacally. I guess that's before. Apple really kicked off, wasn't it? Oh. Like they existed. So you, you're telling me that Banana Man's oh, nemesis did it first? Yeah. Okay. Well, I think they exi they just went very popular. Okay. Apple computers, yeah, that was the hipster thing. Don't go pulling that face. That's the something's happening face. It Two is the something's kills. happening face. And he's already walking out top side, stretching his legs with zero resistance. There's a way in which he could perhaps worm another frag out of this. Very he likely. Get checked and bit. Far too wise. Leaving Twist with a lot less uh, potency to this now. Oh, and he's just dropped away. So. He'd love a plant, though, wouldn't yeah, he? I think Bit's movement might have actually condemned Na'Vi to concede it. Thank you very much. We'll get the yeah. bomb down. Bit's going to go pick up a rifle, I think, here. So he, he wants to upgrade from Famous. Bomb's getting planted. That's being called on out. Twist has to hit some bangers to get out of this one alive. He won't. And they don't. So... 
Eight now for Na'Vi. Guns will come out for phase. M4s scavenged. And actually, in the scheme of things, it's important that they did hold on to those three. Nice shot exchange. Perfecto says to Brokey. And now that's all right. So they, they won the round. They could drop the rifles across. The AKs are going to come out for phase here. Now, if you missed the first map of Inferno, you could have just watched the first half, and that would have been enough. The second half, it's not safe for work. Mm -mm -mm. Make sure your kids are in bed. Uh, and if that happens here again on Nuke, it, it's just Na'Vi really just grabbing this game by the neck and I mean, strangling any life Make out no of mistake, it. it's not like there is in any way any sort of release of the gas pedal for Na'Vi. Like, there is so much at stake for them here. You know, it, it, this could be decided or deciding whether or not that million dollars is going to be collected. You've got to get to the playoffs. You've got to not only get to the playoffs, you've got to win the whole damn thing. But Na'Vi certainly continuing their winning ways so far. 1-0 up in the series. And the same frag for Simple. They've come real easy through that smoke. I think FaZe have just been exposed a little more than they bargained for. And it's an opening kill that does kind of ruin the plans. Look at the nades now for FaZe. Like, just they've been stalled out. They didn't get any of the territory they wanted. And now they're operating with one smoke, three flashes, and a molly. So they're going to have to do this through brute force. And ramp Hard is way. where they're turning some of their attention. Oh, OK. Well, Bit's in a very powerful position. It's usually good for one and a safe drop off. Maybe it's not ramp. Mm. Maybe it's top. Well, they'll dip their toe in that water. Electronic fully blinded and Scarper's off to the side just as he swings out. Perfecto greets them with ease and the M4s fill the feed. Comfortable stuff from Na'Vi there. Not again. Let's, yeah. let's not have this again. Let's, let's get a phase round. Let's get a phase round early here, okay? Let's make sure there's some traction in this second half. Now you can just see the fact that Electronic, while blind, is able to get away, really sets Perfecto up to cover him off. And then they've changed positions, right? So Electronic was in charge of Squeaky. He leaks. Perfecto not flash covers that gap. And then Electronic will cover off towards that hut. So nice little understanding there of what needs to be done. Perfecto, some days the glasses are on, some days the glasses are off. And look at that, speed racer it kills was, Honestly, there. it's incredible how quick those kills look. Yeah, it's, it's like it was in, it was sped up or well, something. I mean, that's just how quick he is. I mean, that's the, the power of Perfecto. We're out ramp. <laughs> and we're now going towards B. And there's a bit of trouble brewing. Nah, a bit, a bit A bit dead. of trouble brewing. Yeah, I can, I can see the teabag of trouble. Whether or not this is a strong brew remains to be seen. Simple good shot. And Carrigan always been kept very honest on his first peak. He won't get many more opportunities. Hang on. Oh, no. Oh, just as he had a chance to wow. peek around the corner, thought he could pass one and find the other, equip himself with a more viable weapon. Na'Vi will collect the 10th. Happy to get the plant down, phase it's, it's something. Indeed. And I think they were quite threatening there, right? The, the fact that Bit's gotten two, yeah, look, he's done a good job in defending that lower site. They pick up those rifles, and I can see what you're flirting with there. The fact that they lands towards top of ramp, and they have Olaf pushing. Like, Olaf gets one, he gets the second one free, then a one, you know? Like, you can see. Was it planted open for him? He probably could peek left side for it. Yeah, good question. Don't know, I think it was a bit tight. But regardless, yeah, it wasn't. Uh, it was a hope and a dream, as opposed to anything more likely. It okay. does look like we've got no CT orping presence, and they are, that's just a product of their success throwing AKs around. They've got three bonus one-shot headshot machines to play with. You should see the way that, and it took me a while to note this, but the way that they're throwing some of these hot, hot mollies now is when you've got ladder, you can actually bank the molly off of the wall straight ahead of you. It's curved or it's angled, and it will go from there and land in hut. Really? Yeah, because normally we're not looking at that when we're, we're spectating the game. We're looking at, like, outside action. We're looking at spam through main. That's what Perfecto was looking at, though. Yeah, so ah. when he runs up ladder straight, uh, we'll see if we can catch it. Maybe Rush could do a pro tip. I just want to see the, the, the rounded corner. He's bouncing it off. Oh, Boomich is being tested. They are coming in. Carrigan looking good for the first. And there goes the entire Na'Vi defense. It's a double out of Olofmeister. And sheesh. They don't even bother getting the bomb down. They'll just do it the easy way. Five headshot strategy is flawless. 
and, if you can execute it. And, and that right there is what we wanted from FaZe, some resistance, right? Because in the, in the first uh, the first map even, we had a 8-7 half, and then the game ended 16-7. to seven. This is what we need. Now some traction here on the T side. And if they win this next round, they're able to whittle down the economy of Na'Vi and really start working on this map, see if we can get to Ancient. We know this one does come first in the group. Here we go again. Orp is out for simple now, and the miss this time round doesn't profit. Oh, again. It just feels like he had all day. Same frag. Brokey this time does manage to cage the beast, and he's actively ready for that fight on heaven if it comes. Ooh. Oh, Brokey. Ooh. Yeah, Electronic went looking out Mini, and it's actually resulted in his death. Brokey quick to the draw. And Perfecto with a solo sight now to hold. Kerrigan hasn't moved a muscle. He's still there on T-side vent. Oh, this is such an important round. If FaZe can snatch this one away, they are really, all. Yeah, really in a conversation to take this one. Okay. No commitment with that bomb just yet. They're still letting Brokey await any reaction out of the CTs. He continues to make his presence known. Does Olaf molly the CT vent? Oh, oh, perfecto. He's done well to manage to pull it back now. And he is going to be cleared. There shouldn't be a, a single way he gets more damage done. But Brokey, in the other hand, has got backs turned. And his patience is rewarded. Oh, Still, they swing out. Oh. And Twist will save the day for FaZe. It nearly spiraled there. But FaZe, they've got a real opportunity. They've got a bit of an open runway now, Chad. This is their chance to get up to 12 for almost free here. Na'Vi lost bonus situation, 2,400 in that next round of play. It's going to put them just in the threshold of the buy, but that onto Simple was great. This onto Electronic was better. Finding the gap through the smokes, he even gets a third for his trouble. A massive round for Brokey, and paired up with Twist, the other superstar of this team, Looking good. You're going to be happy with that one there, Robin, the coach of things. It looked like he, he thought he had gone wrong for yeah. a second there. Huh? No, for a second, it felt like it could have. Like yeah. the, that bit bailing Perfecto out and the swing like that right there was the difference maker. Well, they aren't on much. A couple of snapping turtles walking around. They're very slow, I imagine, a snapping turtle, not particularly nimble. Don't put your finger in its mouth, though. That's definitely, I would recommend that. I've seen what they can do to carrots. If Na'Vi are able to get any rifles here and it doesn't feel like they're in a threatening position to win the round, you, you're likely to see them just save because they need they need these pennies and electronic. You wouldn't. Ah. You are. You it, are. It's <sighs> just a second shy. Oh. oh, and he's given a lovely sound cue to Ray. He might have died here for free. Yeah. Locks him down. He's been having a bit of, he's been having a lot of troubles in yard. That's gonna feel good to get one back, albeit maybe anti-eco. What was that like? Three rounds in a row, Rain was just that Opening like initial death. death. So yeah, finally actually able to get some space and get a kill. I don't think it's gonna be ramp with that stack, and definitely not now. Carrigan's also having a barn burner of a game here. 20 kills for him. The top site is open for business. FaZe will get that bomb down and in 40 seconds time after that, they'll be securing their 12th. Now, simple buying into that, Alex, we have to ask a question or two, because if they do want to buy in the next round, 2,400 plus 1,500. He does have the silenced M4 on, so maybe that's why he spent a little bit more, right? Because okay. it's a little bit cheaper. If we were going the, the standard M4 route, he, he wouldn't have that flexibility. But they're going to be light on somewhere here. This could be like a Boomage MP9 special, you know, we're looking for. What, where he ends up on main roof, like tapping in bursts, the secret player, that kind of game? There, there might have to be something a bit weird about this next round for Na'Vi. Because you can see there, Simple only has 3,900. You've got 4K on Boomage. Okay, so Perfecto, thank God. Isn't he just Simple's best friend right about now? Has gotten him the AWP, so... We can call off the uh, emergency proceedings that I was painting, and, and they can actually scrap this one together. Boomich has opted, instead of the MP9, to go for the Famous. Bit the same. So they have been able to scrap something quite decent, and that's all off the back of Perfecto, really. So big thanks to him. Need to make this one work now, though, Na'Vi. It's running away from them here. Oh, Olaf throwing a bit of spice into the mix. It cost him his life. I can't believe Simples caught that shot. That's the one every Orpa dreams of when they post up heaven. Right out of the gate. 
And again, how often has this been the case for Phase's T project, where they have to stomach a 4v5 disadvantage early? This time it's not Yard. The aforementioned Rain, who's had his troubles up against Electronic, this time shouldn't have anything to be concerned about. Looking good. Allowed descent that's going to get the rotation set up. And it's already, as you, our observe team, uh, observer team has highlighted, already very passive on the lower site. Yeah, I think Rain's taken a page out of Electronic's playbook here. Oh, oh, oh. oh. Okay, uh, that one I didn't see coming. And, and maybe FaZe were hoping Na'Vi didn't either, but more than ready for that. Bomb in an awkward position. Brokey could snatch it under their nose, and definitely now... Rain wants to pivot towards that vent and, well, Bits found him. So that avenue is done as well. Brokey, one on five, tagged on up. That would have been heard. Any kills he gets here are nice just to keep Na'Vi's economy honest, but this should be Na'Vi responding immediately. Where are you meant to go? Nowhere to hide here. You can see every single CT towards that squeaky door at the tail end of the round. And it's just one round in it here now. Phase do have cash to buy, but these openings, Simple's been good for a few now. I think that's at least three or four on this second half alone. And just getting slowed slightly on that ladder. Olaf falling to his demise. And well, it's a choice to make, isn't it? Do you want to be thudding your feet down and making it really clear you're down the vents, which at times can be part of the plan? Or do you want to be extra sneaky about it and potentially risk getting caught by a simple orb? Here we go, game time. Round 24, lining up some top util. Olaf flirting with a bit of a quick one, and oh, that smoke in his face might slow him down. Yeah, you can see Rain reacts accordingly. Okay, we're going to be shaving 15 off of that, at least. Okay, well, Boomich in the vent was the canary in the coal mine to make sure that it wasn't a lower play through that smoke, and now they're a little bit more prepared for this top hit. You can see Simple looking towards those windows in case anything comes on through, just trying to get... As much early traction as he can, but he's now pivoted towards Yard, so Electronic needs to assist this top site hit that's coming. Interesting. And they do throw it all in, but no one's committed just yet. Turns the flash stalled. wonderfully and slowed down completely. Electronic's even oh. working on a fast flank here. Boomage is hearing so much action in the lobby. Rain, however, goes looking for that Electronic flank. Little does he know it's already on its way. Boomage needs to live here. Yeah, just delay. They've all got their backs turned. This could be a disastrous end to the round. Kept busy, Boomich, with one. And look at this lineup from Electronic. He'll take two. Olof burning down Rain puts himself into the clutch. He decided he didn't need a teammate for this one. He's got it covered on his own. A one versus three on the agenda. And this time he's down the vents. Oh, Bit's here. And Bit is ready for this one. Door swings open. Looking the wrong way. Oh, and there it perfect is. Perfect from Bit. Well managed. Navi take the 12th. Ooh, -ee, okay. Well, a little bit unfortunate there with the team Molly on to Rain. Not sure how much he could have contributed coming through that main push. They knew where he was, right? You had Electronic calling that one out here. Boomish delays just enough for Electronic to get over here with a double kill. Good reactions from Olaf to get that one quickly, but all in all, falls apart. And now we're tied up here towards the tail end. Neither team. He's willing to relent just yet. Money good for the buy one more time, and here we go. Rain, what are you going to get away with, my friend? Simple shot misses. Do you have the space to work with it? Looks good now for Rain. Straight on down, the gap is in. Electronic with the opener. Huge opener as well. That gap has cost them at least one life. They continue regardless, and that's a big return of fire from Brokey. He makes it costly. Electronic down, and Rabumich in the vents. He's... It's oh. just gone down. Twist, this is brave. With the bomb, no less, he disrespects the smoke. Committed now. Yeah, they may as well be. Molly for that vent rotate. Bit has managed to just about edge towards the site, trying to voice concerns. They're asking a lot of Bit, but the window has just been broken for him. Carrigan coming in for towards Simple's position, and he's already quick on the first. The flank into Brokey. Yep, thanks for opening the window, bro. You've opened up round 13 for Na'Vi. 2v2 now. Bomb could go back up. Deep commit, though. Door now closed. Twist flirting with the idea of getting that bomb down. It's all off in support. Weird smoke. Yeah, and they know where Bit was. Door's now closed. <laughs> One door opens, another slammed shut. Oof. All off on the flank, and it seems like Bit's far too wise. He knows exactly where you're coming from. All off. Good find. Cost him about half his health. 
And he's up against the Clutch Master himself, Perfecto. Olaf has time if he was to run right now, and Perfecto forces wow. the issue. Just doesn't even wet, let him play around with the sound cues. Demands the fight and gets it. In it here, so... Oof, Na'Vi just need to make sure they lock the doors and how don't do give up a up? kill. Like how, how do we get this Cana Canadian sensation's name in the feed? He's got the AK-47, you're throwing some util, trying to at least bait out any remaining incendiaries, and they have done so. I mean, look at the CT side. They've only got a couple of flashbangs to return fire, and they're battered, they're bruised. They are into the top side just a little bit and denied upon entry. Electronic and Perfecto with the boot. Kicked on down. Faye's running out of opportunities now. Oof, Ancient just... at one point loomed, Chad. Yeah, it, look, the fact that we had Ancient as the third, that would have been a banger of a map for us to get here. Just knowing how underplayed it is at the moment and the adjustments that teams are making just from day to day. Yeah, there was a great uh, the graphic of the whole group where everyone beats everyone in a happy little circle. I think Ancient is just that on crack. Oof. Completely unpredictable. Rain's going quickly here, and the Wall of Smokes blooms as he arrives. Oh my god, they throw so much at him. Ah! Two people unload their mags. Nades, Molotovs, and again more Rain punishment. goes down, and more punishment is due. Boomich with the whip. Twist is down, and yikes. Ugh, oh, you're just left with nothing. This is something. Carrigan, though, kept to one. Quick trade out of Perfecto. Bits Util fading now, so they will come knocking on his ramp door. Oof. Actually, you know what? That's something. Brokey alive after meeting Bits M4. Boomich is already down here. They have to deal with him if they want to get this bomb down. Oh, he even has position here over towards the double doors. They've missed that smoke a couple of times towards single. He'll use it. Oh, so many targets for Brokey to contend with here. He's battle it with simple prevails as does Olof. They want to extend play here. Perfecto again. And it is Perfecto. Asked to find another round for Na'Vi. Quietly looking to clear. Dark, it will be a hard clear. And he's running out of time. Does have the kit. Olof could go looking. Perfecto. Oh. Oof, his crosshair wasn't far away. Huge round. But that's the turnaround. Faith Huge say round. play on. They've just bailed them out there and given them a lifeline here. Take a look at the finance on the Na'Vi side of things. Bit with 3.3. Simple could buy his off. Electronic only has 2.4. Boomage on that cusp of being able to buy at 4K. They will purchase, right? We will get the Na'Vi buy, but this is do or die for Na'Vi now. What a recovery from the boys there. This Walking is, into ramp. This is huge. This round, this round could actually determine the end of the game here, right? Na'Vi with their loss bonus, it, it's back down to 1,900. If they can't make a fight here with what they bought into, FaZe could be the first to get to 15. Yeah, simple, could be looking away. It's all about timing on this fight. When does Carrigan choose to have a look? Simple, very stubborn on this one. He seems to suspect that Carrigan will be responsible for that late yard hold, but he's very passive about it. A well-trained leader. Rain and twists are through. Who blinks first? Like, how long will Simple stay up here? If he makes a sound cue to drop off, if he goes a little bit too aggressive behind them secret, he could give up a lot. You can see Electronic below him as well, ready to snap this one closed. The misdirection of her phase now will be the difference maker as Utility Towards Yard is helping facilitate them back out of secret. And they've still got lobby control, courtesy of Olaf Meister. Oh, I Boom, think they're heading for the lower split. Yeah, and oh, okay, so they've got Electronic working on a secret flank. Rain. Oh, they've both turned their backs here. This, this is the potential weapon. gap. The and perfect weapon. CZ75 looking to set up for the double twist quick enough with a head on the swivel to keep it level. 35, they need to find Boomich. Oh! Find him now, snaps the neck of Boomich. 30 seconds, bombs going ramp, and the RV rotates there already. It's bit. Oh, looking the wrong way. Caught sleeping, running out of chances. Na'Vi, two hearts beating left. And Twist is gone, that's something. A trade from Olof leaves it all onto Simple. Multiple targets already tagged him up. Olof playing with his food. And Simple is gonna laugh it off with the first. Oh, oh the shot just shy of the mark. Brokey pulls 14th out of the hat. And FaZe suddenly looking very viable for a third. Oh dear. 
Ancient could have been secured right there. Check out the finances here. Na'Vi desperately fighting for that round and it's all fallen apart. They have to take the save. They have to concede. We're giving you the update right there. Fnatic versus EG is going the distance as well. Dude, FaZe's life could be on the line in their own hands. For the win. Na'Vi, their intention is clear. The W or nothing here. Right, let's see how Reigns' adventure out yard goes. This time, not as much utility and bullet thrown his way, so that's a relief. With nothing fired, FaZe don't know exactly what they're dealing against. The util helps a little bit, right? Okay, well, they have something, but they're siphoning through that very, very quickly. Symbol does have a kit, but this is really just going to come down to hitting the shots here. Na'Vi need to hope for some bad spacing, a lucky timing, or someone just to pop the hell off. That's one way to hold yard. You can see Simple giving us an example of a passive yard hold. Essentially, just requires someone doing what's... To, uh, who is that down there? Electronic? Boomage. Uh, no, sorry, Electronic was doing. Oh, that's the initial toes dipped in the water there from FaZe. I don't like the taste of that one. Hmm. And they're coming towards Bit. He's good for a headshot or two. And that Deagle this time, bit shy of the mark. Rain, the first for FaZe, Na'Vi, losing opportunities. They've lost a lot of space. Oh, Bit getting pushed on as well. That little chip away from the Mac 10 distracts enough. Bit neutralized and FaZe set for success here. Na'Vi, it might be in your best interest to hold on to what you can. Hold on to your hats. Because never mind playing for the win, they're going to be playing to try and push OT here. Oh, well, what you just saw as far as the buy is going to be reflected again for Na'Vi in the next round. It's 2,400. It, it's, it's the same situation. And it's, Carrigan knows that. Yeah, like the fact that they've had head armor, the fact that they've had deagles, the fact that they've had util. Na'Vi, right, you can understand... Oh, hold up a second. Hold up a second. Simple. Might just get very, very lucky here. Rain's going to stroll on past. Simple over towards credit card. Hiding in plain sight. Looks like he might get away with his life. Really would love a gun here, you can see. Just into all those little booties. All right. Well, the loss bonus is in. The judges are not ecstatic about how this one's going to unfold. Simple into a Famous. I'm sure Perfecto would want to do something very similar here. They can drop their Deagles across, which is going to give extra util for the players who get to equip those. If like they said you could have a map point against Deags to push a map three, here we go. Electronic throwing out a little incendiary to perhaps stop the smokes. Nothing to report. Simple dispatch to secret. He can flirt with events as well. So there's opportunities and he's got multiple. I feel like this is the perfect type of round if you're Carrigan, just say, let's just default. Let's wait for any crazy CT aggression. We got plenty of utility to offer up some double pumps. We can do. Smokes like that for some yard control here. They know what type of buy they're up against. This is great. Oh, yeah, and Electronic's been made to feel like he's in a box. Very few opportunities for him to have any sort of fair fight one-on-one. -on -one. Perfecto actually in a position to at least get this info. It's not fun in FAMAS v AK, but at least he can contribute should Electronic feel under pressure. Oh, Rain's playing an interesting game. He can actively fight for any lower, in lower intel on Hell. Without worrying about heaven. Oh, this is getting close. Yeah. Electronic, he's surrounded. Completely surrounded, but they don't know. He is the unknown entity. And all it takes is a little bit of an overextension from FaZe. Is Carrigan going to clear this? This is getting crazy. They have their backs turned. All of them do. Twist will go down. Hunted for the trade. Rain does deliver, but time getting a bit sensitive oh. now. And Na'Vi are putting deal headshots in the feed. 20 Carrigan's seconds. Gone. Bomb on the back of Brokey. They have to break this top side. Bits just taking lobby from them as they depart. They're having to focus on top side. Brokey with it all to do. The Perfecto. bomb's loose. The bomb's loose. It can be recovered. All off the plan. Simple. Running out of bullets is rain, so they can close the gap. Bit with a big push here. Playing in the off angle. He hasn't seen him, has he? Oh, Olof has. He's too wise. But oh. Steagle is there, and Navi say play on. 
This nuke's not done. <laughs> Nazi not done. Two from Simple. Electronic with so much. The whole team surrounding him. We have to catch our breath. But overtime looms. And, and now V, inseparable, I guess, in regulation. And so we'll get to see FaZe return to their T side. And see if Rain has any more troubles getting across in his yard adventures. Electronics, bullets, and nades, and simples as well have cut him down to size. He's still at the top of the scoreboard for FaZe. And let's see if the Norwegian's got anything left. As he does work his project with twists in tow. Very passive hold from Electronic. The gap is the credit card slip, but little does he know. Oh, wow. Just working on this entirely independent of his team. Oh, he slipped around. Electronic must know they could be in Warehouse. He's not even turning his attention. Yeah, look at that. Look at How? the angle management. Such a beautiful positioning Pure out of Electronic. Yeah, truly. It was like a full dance move, a full choreographed routine. Now to Perfecto, who has been great. They're in the top. Oh, and that is perfect. Carrigan. Oh, he's delivered more than they could have imagined. Into the site. Electronic down. So is Simple. Twist is the one to hold the line outside. Double out of him. Well, they couldn't have asked for a better start for their T side there. This is a good way to kick things off. It looked like Electronic had completely unraveled their plans, but now they will be up 16 to 15. The magic number for OT number one is 19 for those uninitiated. And while we have this moment, I'm not too sure how many more of them we're going to get. Fnatic fans, your team has just won. That's great. But you are here right now to watch FaZe lose. If you want Fnatic to qualify for the playoffs, you require a FaZe loss. Now, if you're a big fan, we're over there against Mouse Sports on map number three. I think right here. Let me have a you double check. It. Yeah, you require Na'Vi to lose. So big and Fnatic, you're not playing against each other, <laughs> but you may as well be. Yeah, yeah. Put your channel points on the line. Really get into it because uh, we've essentially got four teams' fates being decided in this game. A lot on the line here, ladies and gents. So here we go back into the fray. Roki, you're looking a bit aggressive. Hello, a little glance while he graces the flames. What's going on here? An aggressive Ooh, we've maneuver. We've seen this one, haven't we? We certainly have, and we've seen it work wonderully, especially since FaZe are going for a little late yard walk. Careful now. That jump straight through the sights of Simple. He's given you a little bit of a second lease of life by not putting the trigger. And he's walking up on this. He really does want to punish. Hello now. What is that angle? Hello now. Oh, and it enables him to find rain just caught on a jiggle. It's a big contribution early. That same smoke that Olaf's about to throw us towards the windows position. So uh, Carrigan thinking he's going to get some room here. He might want to think twice. Olaf about to release this. Carrigan still working on his forward position. If he doesn't clear his corner, he is a dead man. He's not clearing the corner. Not at all. I think Simple being the yard, the first to take yard contact kind of fooled him and oh, Simple now everywhere and so are the frags from Na'Vi. Well, that's two spotless rounds against one another. Uh, Face making it look all too easy in the first, Na'Vi in the second. All right, well, who's going to take the smallest margins here going into our second half? This one is really hard to tell, right? The financial situation did become an issue for Na'Vi towards the tail end of regulation. So you'd think that they're going to be the ones looking to get the two rounds. Technical time, it does. and then they, they found the definition afterwards. It, but it works, right? Like, yeah. born to win in Latin, yeah. bam. Kind of bad and, it's a, and it's a cool tag. You know, like, some tags are pretty ugly. So many nades thrown towards Yard here just to give FaZe control. They've thrown everything in the kitchen sink out in this direction. And while working on the space, Electronic to deny, he dances around this box. He knows where he's open to just so well and rain up to his usual tricks. Bit tasked for caging Carrigan. And we do have a couple of head-to-heads right here across the map. Yeah, um, it's interesting to see where the contacts go first. So you've got Yard between Rain and Electronic. The standoff continues. <laughs> Simple and Olaf in the ramp side. And then down in the lowers, you've got Carrigan and Bit. It's all happening. It's a big round. This is to find out who's going to be having the lead into our changing of the guard. 
Who's going to blink first? I mean, FaZe are the ones that have to make the move. Bomb's just now been scooped up from the outside of lobby. And Simple's given up ramps, so if Olaf was to start poking and prodding, he'd find a little more. Did Simple just go to show top util? Carrigan has at least revealed himself, and there's the patience from Electronic rewarded. This Rain is walks crazy. In. Like, this kind of stoic fight between them at Yard is... It's a micro game right now, and there's one in the backside. Good catch. Brokey bide his time. They're coming into Perfecto's realm. And he already puts Twist down and out. Phase running short of chances. Carrigan was aware of where the jewels were going to come from, but played with a nice no scope and converts it with the dig and hunted down for Na'Vi's 17th. Okay. Could still finish this one in two. It's been damn up and down. Very, very unpredictable towards the tail end of this one. The, the, fight, to, if the fight towards outside, if you're going to go back and watch the demo of this game, is something just to dissect on its own. Just the rain and electronics smoke more battles on CT and T. It's been for both of them here, because if you have to reflect, probably go back about 45 minutes ago to when we did have Na'Vi on there, T-Half. You're about to get more of it now. Rain was very aggressive fighting them in yard. He wasn't giving them the free space Electronic is used to here. So let's see if that continues. Face need one. Simple pre-aims are the very thing they were considering. Rain Electronic, the standoff, the roles reversed. <laughs> it looks like they're actually in a very similar state of affairs. So we get to see if Rain can do what Electronic does better. Dance around that container. He's also got to contend with the potential for Simple Zorp that's working magic. Brokey as well in support of Rain. It's all hanging in the balance here. Rain, that flash will indicate that they're coming oh. for you. Gets the warning. Does deal with Electronic. What a battle this has been. Yeah, right. You don't see anything like... like I, I can't remember the time I've seen anything like this kind of fight for control. Oh, what a great trade. Carrigan was so close to dipping completely out and having no voice in a return of fire. Na'Vi now with a three versus four. Boomich seems to be interested in returning to Yard, at least considering the CT aggression potential. Big gap in that. Oh, this is going to be so difficult. It's on Boomich coming through main here. This comes down to a timing. Oh, Brokey, that's a perfect play, and he might even get more. Simple deals with him. Boomich strikes. Suddenly, FaZe fans hold their breath. Twist with it all to do. They line up, and it's both of them. A mow down from the Canadian. 17 found, and FaZe recover after Na'Vi really did start getting their teeth into that defense. Oh, wee. This is getting real close. So there could have also been a, a vent drop option out of Na'Vi there as well. Twist, the fact that he's just staying and not... like the, the, From both of these guys, like, on both sides, to take space and then the unwillingness to, first of all, give up a little misstep and just stick to your guns. This has just been some crazy stuff. Ooh-wee. Better make this call a doozy. Na'Vi could be on the ropes should they concede. No lots of attention. Of all, yeah, lots of attention yard. And no T side up, you're right. Maybe Simple didn't quite enjoy feeling like he couldn't contribute more. Well, they're down secret here. And once Electronic gets this control, they're able to work with it quite well. Bullets caught, smoke's fading. Hustle required. Battening down the hatches towards lower. Here we go. Carrigan, what do you do with this? Takes a glance. Simple's far too fast. Oh, and Olaf hears this. He, he's got so much util, but he doesn't get a chance to pull it out. The door's wide open. He's ready for the reswing. Boomich, however, has found him. And now Brokey, close quarters. They're all here. Hoping to overwhelm them. And They're just all here. timed. Tucked into dark. Good connection out of rain. Looking good and set for this one as the two CTs do greet Simple with bullets. Bits late arrival irrelevant. And Perfecto's asked to go clutch again. His health's pretty low, Chad. I don't know. There's a world where he does pull out another one. If he's ready for Twist, who's now gone around towards Secret, that is some awareness, right? Twist was deep, squeaky room. The orb's dipped on back, has to clear close. A little bit of room to work with here. Spotted now. And he's aware. Oh, we consider the vent drop. Maybe not Secret stairs. Unless Twist is too loud about this. 
Oh, Perfecto is so scary. He's got him down to 10 HP. If Brokey misses the shot, suddenly that bomb plant becomes a reality and Not so again. does the clutch. He's Not doing again. it again. Eight 1VX situations, Chad. He's got to get it down. In this group. This tie, he has to plant now. He has to plant. He has got it down just in the nick of time. Twist won't call the bluff. Perfecto looking to find his ninth, and he might even do it. He's looking the right way. Oh, come on! Perfecto is the king of the clutch. Everyone else pales in comparison. Group C has got a new clutch king. Perfecto with his ninth. Absurd. Another turnaround. This is the third, or rather the first of the three. Baits the shot out of Brokey, just taps the head and manages the time to get it down, and he isolates on to finish the job. Oh, my Lord. Whee -oo. That's big. He's been the lifesaver in this map, and now Na'Vi just won away. The pressure they can apply here. Perfecto may have just cancelled Ancient. Like, he may have just He doesn't want to play it. He wants to get it done here. Oh, and look at the bullets through the smoke. Rain chipped on down, electronic towards Secret again, and when he gets this space, success will follow. I can't believe he got another oh, one. Oh, it's... Insane. <laughs> oh. And he wouldn't have had it wouldn't have been a favorable fight with Twist if he hadn't tagged him up on that secret fight. He got him to 10 HP with that it's spray. It's wild. It's just wild. Wowie, wow. Ooh, we double OT. 18, 18, we do it all again. 19 for Navi. It is done and dusted here. And FaZe, so close to pushing Navi to a third. They need to win this series if they wanted first in the group. Now top three is up for debate. It may very well be a fourth finish for FaZe. Electronic looking incredibly ready for Carrigan there. And you can hear Bitchar starting to evacuate. They are coming knocking on Olaf's door, and unfortunately, his quiff poking out from his hidey hole has been knocked. And Faye's falling apart the seams here. Just running out of chances. That's something out of twist. Brokey presented an opportunity. The bomb now loose. But Simple's too prepared, and it's all onto Brokey. Narfi recover.